Okay, so for practice, let's work on problem 41 from chapter 1 of the uni University Physics OpenStax textbook. Okay, so let's first read through this problem. The density of nuclear matter is about 10 to the 18 kilograms per cubic meter. Given that one milliliter is equal in volume to one cubic centimeter, what is the density of nuclear matter in megagrams per microliter? Okay, so the goal of this problem is to convert this measurement, 10 to the 18 kilograms per cubic meter, into a different unit, right, into megagrams per microliter. This is a measurement of density, so it's mass divided by volume. Okay, and let's just quickly note how neat it is that the density of nuclear matter is so large. Right, this number, 10 to the 18 kilograms per cubic meter, 10 to the 18 kilograms is one quintillion kilograms per cubic meter. This is how dense the nuclei inside your body that make up your atoms um, and everything in the universe, right? That's the density of those nuclei. So that's pretty amazing. Um, and although your nuclei are extremely tiny, there are objects in the universe like neutron stars that have this density. Um, and so an astrophysicist studies these type of objects. Um, so this is really neat stuff. So, okay. Let's start talking about how we'll do this conversion. Um, let's just think about all the different conversion factors we may need. So first we have kilograms. That's what they gave us, kilograms per cubic meter. Let's just make sure we understand what a kilogram is. Right, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams or 10 to the 3 grams. Okay, that may be helpful to us. Um, what about a megagram? Right, we need to convert something into megagrams. What is a megagram? One megagram is equal to a million grams, or 10 to the 6 grams. Okay, um, so that'll be helpful for us to convert kilograms into megagrams. What about converting meters cubed into microliters? Right, Meters cubed is a unit of volume. We need to convert that into microliters, a different unit of volume. But uh, let's first make sure we understand what a cubic meter is, and to do that, um, they told us that one milliliter is equivalent to one cubic centimeter. So let's first figure out how to convert meters cubed into centimeters cubed. To do that, we're going to need um, to convert, let me switch color, colors here from my denominator. We're going to need to convert um, one meter into centimeters. That's 10 to the 2 centimeters. Um, we're also going to need to note that what well, they told us in the problem, one milliliter is equivalent to one cubic centimeter, so that'll be helpful to us. And then we're also going to need to just, what is a milliliter? Let's make sure we understand that. One milliliter, right, a milli is a thousandth of something, so this is 10 to the minus three liters. Okay, and finally, in the end, we're going to need something in microliters. One microliter is a millionth of a liter. Right, this is 10 to the minus 6 liters. Right, and just to make sure, this symbol I just used um, for microliter, that's a mu symbol. Right, it has a kind of a long tail to a u, the Greek letter mu. So these are all the conversion factors we're going to need to solve this problem. So let's, let's start by just writing down the quantity we're going to convert. We're going to convert a density. Density we typically use the symbol rho for. Density is equal to 10 to the 18 kilogram per cubic meter. Okay, so let's first start by trying to convert that kilogram in the numerator into megagrams. Since I don't have a conversion factor directly for those two things, I, I of course could calculate one pretty quickly or look one up, but just as a general technique here, I'm going to first convert kilograms into grams because I have a conversion factor for that, right? And then I'm going to convert grams into megagrams because I have a conversion factor for that. And the general principle here is that we're going to use these conversion factors to produce a ratio which we will multiply by our density in order to convert one unit into another. Okay, so I need to convert kilograms into grams, so I need to form a ratio using that um, first uh, conversion factor, one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. I need to put kilograms in the denominator, right, so my kilograms cancel and I need to put 10 to the 3 grams in my numerator. Okay, so now I have my measurement in terms of grams per cubic meter. This density is 10 to the 21 grams per cubic meter. And now I need to convert grams into megagrams, so I'll use my second conversion factor here. This time I'm going to put 
10 to the 6 grams in the denominator so that my grams cancel and I'm going to put 1 megagram in my numerator for that ratio okay so now I'm I've used those two conversion factors um, and so now I have a measurement in terms of megagrams per cubic meter right those are the only units I have in this equation that aren't crossed out now let's try to convert this cubic meters into microliters let's first convert cubic meters into cubic centimeters to do that I'm going to use uh, this conversion factor but we're going to note that this is a conversion factor for length measurement meters or centimeters where we need to convert meters cubed to volume measurement so we're going to have to use this conversion factor three times right so to do that let's just write down that conversion factor I have one meter is equal to 10 to the two centimeters right one meter is a hundred centimeters I need to have meters in my numerator and I need to have centimeters in my denominator but now I need to con cube this entire conversion factor right so that um, converting meters three times and so that this cubic meters here crosses out with this cubic meters here okay so that's good I now have a measurement in terms of megagrams per cubic centimeters I can now use uh, this conversion factor to just note that a cubic centimeter is equivalent to a, a milliliter right or I can um, again use a ratio to more uh, just precisely make this conversion right so I'm going to say one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter okay and so my cubic centimeters cancel out and so basically now I have a measurement in terms of megagrams per milliliter and okay now I need to convert my milliliters to liters again because I don't have a conversion factor directly from milliliters to microliters I of course could figure that out relatively easily but just again to be careful let's convert milliliters to liters and then convert liters to microliters so I'm going to convert milliliters to liters using again this conversion factor here so I need to put milliliters in my numerator so it cancels out and I need to put 10 to the minus 3 liters in my denominator and finally I need to convert liters to make um, sorry liters into milli, uh, microliters um, using this conversion factor and so to do that I need to put 10 to the minus 6 liters in my numerator and one microliter in my denominator okay so barely made it all on one page so but we did it okay so now we can do this math you can do it uh, by hand or you can plug it into a calculator um, but we nicely kept everything in a nice notation here so we can do it um, by hand let me pick a different color here so we have 10 to the 18 times 10 to the 3 right that gives us something that's 10 to the 21 right and now we have 10 to the 21 divided by 10 to the 6 so this quantity here gives us 10 to the 21 21 minus 6 uh, is going to give us 15 so this quantity is 10 to the 15 and um, now 10 to the 15 uh, divided by 10 squared cubed right so that is going to be again 10 to the 15 uh, divided by 10 to the 6 uh, which is going to give us um, 10 to the 9th okay um, again with this quantity uh, let's see next we have to go to sorry running out of room here 10 to the 9th divided by 10 to the minus 3 so that gives us something that is 10 to the 12th and finally sorry again running out of room 10 to the 12th times 10 to the minus 6 gives us something 10 to the 6th alright so that's going to be our final answer and let's just make sure we crossed out all our units here so these liters had canceled so we end up with something in megagrams let me use my highlighter we have megagrams is one unit we have left and uh, microliters is the other unit we have left and this is the final answer when we plug this all into our calculator or we do it by hand so um, okay let's just write it down officially here our final answer that the density that we end up with is 10 to the sixth megagrams per uh, microliter and that is our final answer